Yeah, um, Inkling versus Sandwich. This is going to be interesting. Uh, obviously, probably one of the characters, because um, he, he did, like I mentioned earlier, he uses Palutena for projectile heavies characters. and certain projectile characters. I didn't get to ask him, like, which projectile character exactly, but he did say Inkling for other projectiles characters. I can only assume this is going to be one of them. Let's see how it fares. We're going to start off game number one on Pokemon Stadium 2. Edmund and Toasty bringing you the hype matches. Right now, quick, not even, not even uh, wasting any time, just setting up the camp. Just putting out these more bombs, making it difficult for... Whoa. Oh. That looks so weird. The transition. It was like at the same exact time as the explosion, so... so too much chaos, man. Almost giving me a seizure here. Oh my gosh. I up love the throw, way Quick is... Air. I love the way Quick is doing his, his uh, movement. He's just making himself so tricky. Not not really able to do... Or Chagan able to get a concrete read on what he's going to do because he just has to take that extra second of... What the hell is he doing? Like. Yeah, totally. Okay, he's going to set the splat bomb here by the ledge. Uh, waiting for that get up, just charging in and getting the grab as well. Down tilt. Ooh, calling, ooh, calling out the air dodge in. Yeah, fortunately for Samus, I mean, even if her double jump is gone, Quick is able to use bomb jumps to kind of de like delay her recovery backwards and get some horizontal distance. Yeah, she has bomb. She has the tether. Yeah. She can really stall out off stage too, and it's really, it's really good. So it's going to be interesting to see how Chag is going to want to get these kills. If not in the edge guarding department, it's going to have to be by a ledge trap or just straight up getting these up throw up air confirms. Oh, oh my god, so deep. dude. What expert timing. I mean, he drop zoned and then double jumped into the neutral air to get catch the super jump. But the super jump just comes out so fast, too. Like, Not an easy thing to do, but quick showing <laughs> excellent prowess. Yeah, Samus is there so powerful. Hits on both sides. Oh my god, damage coming out. Dude, Samus' wave like wave landing is like so cool. It looks it looks like one of the cleanest ones. I could only assume She might have one of the best ones, yeah. I can only assume that's why Quick's doing it. It's like it looks cool <laughs> it and it mixes tight. you. Oh, now he's shooting out the the charge shots. It's gonna be really difficult for for Chak to get this stock right now. Alright, up air catching Almost Chag killing. jumping in. Oh, he's going to parry the charge shot. And there wasn't really a need for that. Yeah, an up throw is going to be enough. Chag down to his last stock. 145 here for quick. Oh, God. He was Dude, in the air, what? Bro. Okay, that wasn't point blank, but it still worked. Or he All was right. actually in the air. I had he didn't no, care. I had no idea Samus had this. <laughs> no, I learned didn't. today. Oh, oh, down throw. Ooh. Oh, barely going to miss. But yeah. I like the idea of just jumping right over it. You know what? I'm tired of you doing this. Yeah, I'm sorry. Down down uh, air. <laughs> I said down throw. But yeah, the uh, quick having enough time to air dodge the up air. 178%, man. He is really living for a long time on this stock. Yeah, he's having so much trouble taking out the stock. But the forward air going to boot him into his second stock here. Oh, just taking the grab. Yeah, and the, the uh, screw attack is such, like, great. I don't know the exact uh, frame data, but it's such a good way to, like, cover yourself when you whiff an attack. You just immediately it's so throw fast. out the it's screw a, attack. Yeah. Such a great get-off-me option. Now, I don't believe the, like, Shine Spark is in this game anymore. They uh, dash attack into... I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of those multi-hit moves were made better so they'll link into each other. Like Mario, like ZSS. Ooh, great parry there. Nice, and able to get the roller off of it. There's the forward smash. Chag bringing it all the way back to one stock apiece. He's got 99% on his stock. Ooh. That was that was insane. He did jab, run, back, charge shot. Yeah, dude, these are reads. This isn't a normal Samus, bro. Like, I don't know. They, they, this Samus doesn't have Chozo blood in her. I, I don't know what she has in her, dude. <laughs> Pivot, max range pivot grab. Something better than Chozo? Like, how could that be, bro? Ooh, oh, fair, forward air it. off the ledge, and that's gonna be game number one for Quick. Yeah, moving up 1-0 right now. So, like you said, Chag does like to use Palutena for the yeah, projectile character. Yeah, I'm wondering if we're gonna see it, actually. I honestly think it would be a good I, pick. I, I believe so. Palutena is, like, way quicker, has, like, better hitboxes, I would say. Even though, like, Inkling has, a, like, the ability to, like, 
combo better, maybe, and maybe not even, because honestly, it's like I think Palutena is better at killing. Yes, not only that, she has like more range, and uh, you could even beat out like charge shot if you time like your dash attack or, or uh, oh, back yeah. air. Great point. I think yeah. Palutena is just really will be really good at shutting down these projectile characters. So, and like we predicted, going into the Palutena, immediate, immediate auto reticle. That's so good. It just forces you to either jump around it. You're, oh, you God. can't do your things anymore. Three up bears. Can we get another one? Four in Do I hear five? Oh, my God. Charge shot to down tilt. Okay, so uh, Samus gets to do down uh, charge shot into whatever she wants is what, what I learned yeah. today. <laughs> Zero percent. I'll do what I want. I'm surprised that up tilt didn't hit on the ledge right there. No, although Chag had it. Oh, dang. I thought he I thought he got him good there, but dang. up tilt's gonna take it that time. That's Absolutely. so good at covering the ledge. It'll hit below if you wait too long. It takes your jump it'll hit your jump. Ah oh, dude, so much damage. Charge shot is actually like I didn't know I was supposed to be this scared of it. <laughs> right. I I have been hearing people complain about it, but I just I didn't know why. Like I didn't realize till now. I thought it was the like, you know, like I've always been afraid of charge shot when I'm at kill percent, but now it's like, oh if I get charge shot in the neutral, like I get comboed. Yeah, I, it could be curtains. Got a good up attack. Only gonna get punished. Oh, barely missing the back air. Oh, but he's gonna pick it up with the up air and Chag bring it down to two stocks apiece. 79% here. He's gonna be stuck in shield. Uh, just kind of waiting for quick at the ledge. A little bit scared. Right now, quick's ledge guarding is so good. He's able to instill that fear in you. Ooh, and another stock gone. Getting shot right in the dome right there. Two stocks. Right now, Quick is Quick's gonna have to do something real. Or uh, Chag did have to do something real good to bring us back in. But we saw him do it before. I believe we can see him do it again. Totally, absolutely. Down throw into the forward air. Chag keeping up the pressure. Uh, this is like, just like it's so nutty, man. Because it's like, it it really seems like this Quick, obviously a very great player, like not a knock on him at all because I, what I, I'm seeing what he's doing and he's, he's just really smart. It's insane, And yeah. it, it, it just makes it also so much more difficult for everyone too because you're, he's good with a very unorthodox character, something... You just don't know the matchup. Yeah, people, people haven't played against this character enough, so you don't know the matchup and you're, you're obviously getting hit by a lot that you probably shouldn't get, be getting hit by. A dash oh, attack? Oh my god, dude. The, the shoulder all right, check, dude. I'm, I main Samus now. Okay, so it's wild. <laughs> <laughs> I main Samus now. Right, like you said, Quick's just able to do these things that you know maybe, maybe it's not supposed to work. Maybe he's just using that inexperience, but it's working out. He's still able to do so many good things. Yeah, exactly, and, and and this is still a testament to like how good Quick is because not not only like do people not know the matchup, but he knows exactly how to exploit that. Like he's like, okay, I'm I know you're not like reacting to these situations properly, so I'm getting so much more mileage off of it. And going back to the inkling, Palutena. Not looking like it worked out. He he had a good beginning, and then once he got hit, he was not. It, it was just over for him. Pivot grab into the uh, throw to dash attack, man. That's crazy. Low percent combo. Dude, what can what can Samus do? <laughs> yeah, and that's what I'm talking about. Don't, like, don't touch my shield. I don't know what you're thinking. Like, you just really have to have your like spacing proper and have perfectly timed punishes because. It, like forward air off the ledge, like you should, you feel like you should be able to punish it, but it has like, you know, kind of deceptively low end lag, and then he has another option that comes out really fast after that. Right now, shield depleted off taking that one charge shot. <gasps> oh, we have calling him out with the downer, going for it again, but up B. Yeah, unfortunate that he got the uh, sour hit of the downer. If he had gotten the uh, the, spike, the hit spike hitbox, he may have been able to follow up. I don't think Quick would have died, but he would have gotten more damage from it. Dash attack here for Chag, keeping quick above him. Here's a grab. I love that jab, just run back and grab. You don't really see a lot of jab mix up because they don't really pop you up like they did in Smash 4. But, you know, uh, quick out here still making it work. Yeah, and with a jab that's like one of the worst in the game too, like the game will literally tell you, you don't know, use like, jab too. don't use the second jab. Only yeah. only use jab one. It's like, why'd you even give her like, why would you do <laughs> jab two? Why are you, you know, proud like of that? <laughs> just fix the jab. Dude, it's like Sakurai just like, he's like, I don't like this character. <laughs> For no reason. 
up throw. I don't think upper will connect. I think he had uh, Inkling had too much rage. He had beef with the developers or something. Dude. <laughs> oh snap! Oh, oh no, he caught him. All down, right. Second and down tilt not connecting. I'm pretty sure quick either one to air dodge to the ledge or like maybe try to tech. So four throw not gonna take it just yet. But next grab will be it. So many things are gonna kill. Yeah, the upper is gonna do it. In fact, Chag. Uh, down to his second stock. We got two stocks apiece. Both at zero percent. Oh, here we Jesus, go! Jesus, dude, like that was forty. <laughs> Just off of the, the didn't even get a charge shot to grab. Yeah, we didn't get anything off the down throw. Yeah, but still did damage. <laughs> oh, I love that up tilt. You don't really see from Inkling a lot because it's not the best move. It, it misses people a lot, but Chag, we actually see him use it a lot. Yeah, and I can see Chag is starting to wait a little bit more after uh, getting his initial like setups. Trying to see definitely. reaction from Quick, as opposed to trying to preemptively like combo into his uh, follow-ups. Oh, God! Again with the sour hit. That would have been beautiful. I think at that percent, he might have actually been able to up air. Yeah, that's true. Throwing out the splat bomb of his own. Ooh, tries to go for a roller himself, but yeah. he's getting bombarded. Yeah, great reaction from Quick right there too. Uh, letting go of the charge shot the second he saw uh, Inkling. De uh, roll backwards. Mm -hmm. And even with the like super busted uh, roll that Inkling has, right? Like it's it's you know, no, it's still it's thought. still a back roll. Like you come out of it and you're gonna get hit. Can't act fast enough. Oh, oh that oh, was crazy. <laughs> roller into roller and the second roller just killing off the I'd top. Be, I'd oh, be right. mad if I died to just roller. <laughs> like, like it I'm, was it was I'm like long. laughing but I'm like low key mad about it too. Like, I, wait, oh, wait, what? did he drift too much? I don't know what happened. Nope, Chag got but him. Chag, but him. Chag, Chag, Chag is actually shaking his head. He's like, yeah. I don't know about that. But we'll take it we take for it. sure. We're still in it. We got a set. Not yeah, going to be a total shutout. Yeah, After that. all, the last two sets have been game five. So it's like a yeah, lot, that, that, that lot more pressure. A, that was definitely a flub. I was looking at Chag, and then all of a sudden I just saw Samus at the bottom of the blast zone. Yeah, I think he was like going for the ledge or something and just missed. So unfortunate for him. Going back to PS2. But, you know, still, Chag, maybe he's going to have that breath of fresh air. Maybe he can get this next game. Hopefully Quick's not going to let it get to his head too much. Oh, snap. It's already 12. That's crazy. I'm usually already, like, gone right here because normally I don't enter and then I, I just commentate until, like, 10 and then play friendlies for an hour. But I entered today and then jumped on afterwards. So I'm gonna sacrifice a little bit of sleep for you guys here, but we got game number four on Pokemon Stadium 2. Chag uh, definitely starting to adapt over the course of this set, uh, learning like his windows to punish a lot better. It's He's he's doing a really good job of learning the matchup on the fly because that's exactly what he's doing. I mean, like, I don't, I'm not really sure. Like there is a lot of variety in his region uh, in Mexico City, but I'm not sure if they have any Samus. Through. They like good characters out there. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, Chag was Chag was popping off. He was taking, he was taking quick from left to right. He was doing, he was doing crazy combos. He's already got him at 106 percent. Probably gonna be looking for that up throw up air, but he's kind of going a little too ham. He's just running into things that quick's throwing at him, taking so much shield damage, taking just damage. All right, Chag dashing in. Try to get this roller punish, but uh, kind of like hoping for Quick to drop his shield because he had already he already had his shield up. And once you commit to the roller, you kind of just have to go with it. Like you can cancel it, but you, there's a little bit of an, uh, like cooldown animation during. The no oh way. my god! I don't think he thought he was gonna get hit no by way. that. No I didn't even think he was gonna get hit by. That. Slightly pushed off, and already bringing this back. There oh, we go. Oh my god! Dang, dude. You see that he down aired onto the platform. That was absolutely a bait. And covered himself with the with the uh, screw attack. That's crazy. That was absolutely a bait. He just wanted to down air to to bait Chag into trying to punish him just for the up B. Yeah, totally. And I mean, it's a like awesome bait. It's it's not it's not even like it doesn't have to be a bait, a bait because it's option coverage, right? If mm -hmm. Chag doesn't react to it, like he gets hit by it. Definitely. But if he shields it and tries to punish afterwards, then he's gonna get hit anyways. He's taking so much damage to try to net out this stock. He's almost being lapping percent. Now quick, he gets to return back to his uh, his turtle gameplay. Yeah, up throw, up air. Looks like it's going to be right outside of the percentage where that's 
a true combo. Gonna get the roller here. Should be the forward smash for the kill. 89%. Two stocks apiece. Chag needs to find just one opening and he can get a quick uh, 20 to 30%. He's just taking it slow. He needs to think about what he has to do. Oh my god, with so many charge shots. It's, it's hard, man. It's a really t tough, tough spot to be in against Samus players when they have the lead because you're, you're forced to approach, obviously. And uh, when you're forced to approach, it's it's a lot easier for Samus to actually hit you with her charge shot. Like, as in right there. I mean, Chag wanted to get in, and he was like, well, you're going to land right here, and I'm going to hit you with it. Definitely. We're barely missing that charge shot right there. Chag is still getting some damage in. Up B, almost killing, but not yet. Landing on him with the neutral air. 162% here for Chag. Up throw. Not, not enough. That's crazy. I thought he had it right there. Yeah, next one will do it, though, for sure. Yeah. So Jumping it's... over the charge shot. So many things are going to kill from Samus right now. Chag has to be on top of things. That was, wow. that was so good. The clanking animation going to leave uh, Inkling in stun, but since it was a projectile, it wasn't a part of Samus, so she was just able to get a hit off real quick. Uh, he keeps trying for that same situation once he sees uh, Quick behind him, but he's, he's more so trying to react. And by the time he tries to react to that, he's like, Quick's already got his shield up. He's not going to get hit rollered. Forward air from Quick. Oh, and the charge shot on the platform, too. Oh, go for the roller. Oh. Uh, yeah, just okay. getting a jab. Yeah, I like it. I mean, he's got full amount of uh, ink on, on Samus right now. Honestly, with the way that it uh, canceled each other out, I thought he was going to get some extra charge on the up smash. Ooh. That was tricky. It was weird looking. That up tilt's going to kill for sure, too. Oh, absolutely. Dang, F tilt will do it, too. Still. Yeah. Snap. Going to end that 3-1 three, yeah, three, with a two stock. Quick moving on to grand finals. He's looking so good. The way he's been able to do things. If he does that at Prime Saga, he's going to make waves for yeah. sure. Dude, I mean, what a sight to see, honestly. Quick has been making work of these players and, and making them work. Not only are, like, local SoCal players, but, like, one of Mexico's best, right? Chag is, like, like I think number, like, he's either number one or two out in Mexico City right now. And uh, he's, like, one of the few people from his region to actually beat MK Leo out there, uh, who is one of the best players in the world, you know, top two. Uh, and just what a sight to see the the like variety of talent. Like we just had an international matchup at a local Mexico versus Germany, and it's it's not even Prime Saga yet, and that's that's the beauty of it. Prime like if you have yet to go to a 2GG event or a Saga in particular, you want to um, register for that the second they announce the next one. Yeah, and you want to register for that and book your book your Airbnb, find your buddies or whatever, get out here. Take a week off and just grind all the locals because there's some nutty talent out here during during these times. Right. Yeah, we're going to get Master Mario and T3 Dome, Dome up next. Dome has been on a loser's run. He started top 24 and loses round one, and here he is in loser seven. He's Jesus, he lost hit. round one? No, uh, loses round one of top 24. Oh, of top 24 still, man. That's, that's a 